And welcome back, everybody. Uh, Mr. Owens, we're in Azaria for JavaScript. We're working in Chapter 3, Module 2. And we're on the episode Spiral, Spiral Streets. And uh, this is going to be an interesting one. So this place is so beautiful. Took time to storm. And, and uh, with your help, it can be beautiful again. I should give her a voice. With your help, it can be beautiful again. I don't know why I did that. Uh, my bad. There are so many torches to light in this beautiful park. One's beautiful park. We can make it beautiful again. This time we need to use walk distance variable. Okay, so we have this set, right? We know we want to walk six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it looks like we want to walk up six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So let's do our for loop. Not in the box yet. Four. We got to set our variable we're going to use our i equals zero. Uh, if you haven't heard me say it before, the reason we traditionally use i is it's shorthand for integer. So uh, if you want to do what everyone else does, just use i. We all do it. We don't know why. It was something someone started doing and we all copied it. It's kind of, it's kind of a thing. So while i is less than, uh, let me see, one, two, three, Oh, no, 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 because that's going to be different. So let's go right, up, left, down, right, up, left, down, right, up, left, down. So there's our pattern. I less than, it looks like. So it's right, up, left, down, one, right, up, left, down, two, right, up, left, down, three. So I less than three. Uh, and then I plus plus, that's my shorthand. Uh, I It's pretty common. I always put my brackets on a second line. That is purely uh, my my opinion, but my it's it's only my opinion, but it's right. No, it, I find having and and some of my students see this. I do this a lot when I debug. I find having my brackets on the same line like this much easier to read. I know where that for loop is by having those brackets as a visual cue as to what code is inside of it. So that's why I do that. If you guys have ever wondered. So we need to move up or move right. And let's just go ahead and copy walk distance. So control C, control V if you haven't used it. And move up. It looks like we need to use torch. And they want us to do torch name. So let's just do that. I don't think it matters since they're all called torch anyway. So then we need to move left. Well, let's do walk distance and move down. Walk distance. And then we want to use that torch at the end of the loop. So let's use. And then because they want us to do, we'll do it this way. If you want to just write torch in there, I don't see any reason that it wouldn't work. Okay. So now. We know we're going to do that three times. So one, two, three, four. Well, let me see what it does. Okay, that's not going to go all the way, obviously. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we need to reduce it after walking the first two. So you can use minus, minus, just like as I've been using plus, plus. We can use minus, minus in the same way. So let's do walk, distance. Minus, minus, and then one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two. Okay, so we need to reduce walk distance at the end of the loop as well. So all right, so let's run that. And I actually think that should complete it. Yeah, uh, we'll let them walk around. Go ahead and leave a like if this is helpful to you. If you have any questions about what I'm doing, um, obviously minus equals one is the same, or walk distance equals walk distance minus one would both work. Um, uh, this is a habit I picked up when I was learning Java, and then I've never looked back. So that it's not traditional, especially with JavaScript developers to do it, but I found uh, that I like it now and I can't go back. Um, let me see. So uh, great.
go ahead and leave a comment. If, like I said, if you have any questions about what we can do, we'll let this man uh, walk around the loop. Um, hopefully you guys find this helpful. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'd like to see every student learn at least some basic development. So with that, this was Spiral Streets. We're in Chapter 2, Module 3, or Chapter 3, Module 2. Ignore me, and we'll catch you in the next one.